Okay, so last time I showed you a quick little video on uh, how to fix audio that you recorded uh, with the camera on your Nokia N900. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to throw together a little video here on editing video and substituting the audio. And So let's just get into it. These are a bunch of clips I recorded the other night of me and my wife and my wife's sister and my friend all ice skating. Um, I've already copied them from the camera to my computer. So let's fire up Caden Live. And I will go into where I have all those videos saved. I will open them. I will choose all of them. I just press Control-A to select all. And I'll drag them down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the audio. So that's just a video track now. And we're just going to replace the audio because using the actual audio, every time I cut to another shot, the audio is going to cut as well. It's just not going to sound right. And so I'm just going to replace all the audio. There are going to be parts like right here where my friend is talking that it may not look proper because usually when I do this, um, I try to get shots of no one talking or um, I actually will have audio, the original audio and just that part where they're talking. But in reality, I'm on the other side of the glass. So even if I use the original audio, you can't hear what he or any of them are saying anyway. So I'm just going to replace the audio real quick here. But uh, the way I did this was... Um, on my Nokia N900, I'm going to use a VNC server on the phone. And then on my computer here, I'm going to log in just so I can show you some screenshots. This is uh, the N900. I am going to go into my applications window here. And I downloaded an application called Recorder. It's just a voice recorder. Sorry for the lag in the screen. It's just the connection over VNC. And you can see it's a very simple voice recorder. Uh, the menu down here only has new, open, save, and send via email. So uh, I don't think I can change, you know, the bit rate or, or any of the options. It's going to record mono. You can see one channel there, it says. Uh, but basically, you just press record and start recording and stop when you're done. And it records, as I just said, mono. So what I did, as, in, as opposed to stereo, um, anyway, uh, so I just took a moment. I knew what the video was going to be anywhere from a minute to two minutes. So I stepped aside and pressed record on this. And I stood there for about a minute and a half, two minutes to get audio that I knew I was going to use in this video. So that's how I grabbed the audio for this. And I just wanted to give you a little shot of what that looks like. Uh, now I'll go back over here. Let's see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another browser window here. And I'm going to once again, log into my phone through a SSL or SSH server. So I'm using a remote uh, encryption to connect through. And I go into my home user, my docs, and we're gonna hit Control H here uh, in this particular browser, or you can just click and probably go. Basically, I'm just showing hidden files because the N900 uh, saves a lot of the folders and files uh, as hidden files when you log on to them remotely. Uh, so here we are, we're going to go on to sounds, which is where I also have my music, but right here we can see skating. When I saved it on the voice recorder, uh, it asked me what I want to name it. I call it skating wave. I'm going to copy that, go back to my desktop here, and I'll paste that audio in there. It only takes a few seconds. Then I'll come in here, refresh this. There's the wave file. Drag it down here, resize it. Then up here, I'm going to go and just type in fade. These are the effects. I'm going to fade from black, and I'll drag that to the first clip there. So it'll fade from black. Fade to black on the last one there, so the video will fade out. And I'll do fade in for the audio and fade out for the audio. You can adjust the lengths of these by moving this dot in and out. Default is probably a second or two. And then I'm just going to click render. I'll choose MPEG-2 because that's going to be a good quality and a small enough size that I can upload this to Facebook or YouTube. And I'm just going to click uh, 8,000 kilobytes for the rate. Uh, I'm just going to do a single pass and that's going to give me a pretty good quality. Keep me at a good size. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go up to video projects, skating, and I will name it skating with a K skating 2009. Okay, it automatically puts the MPEG on the end there. 
and I will click render. It'll take a, a few minutes for it to render. It's giving an estimated time of about a minute and a half. So just a little bit longer than uh, the actual video is to compress it to MPEG. And I will put a link right here in the video that will link to the final uh, copy rendered video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com and go out. Don't forget to uh, get yourself an N900 if you're a true Linux user. It is the most open phone other than the uh, OpenMoco Freerunner, but uh, it's definitely a better phone than OpenMoco Freerunner as far as power and, and usability. So it's worth the money. Get yourself a Nokia N900. No, I don't work for Nokia. I just think it's a great phone. So, uh, and watch the rendered video. Have a great day.